Val Olson, this is music to my ears, okay? Uh, because what you are saying is the word journalism used to mean something. And this is music to me, my ears to know that there are the Val Olsons still out there. I identified this a couple of years ago with you. That truly did. They drill down. You get the truth. Uh, it's not a biased response. You uh, l- Again, when you lay the new news out there, make it news. News, not copy-paste garbage. New news, fact-checked, uh, corroborated, uh, like the old days. And you put it up there and let people make their own grown-up decisions about it or opinions about it. Uh, you're talking Edward R. Moreau stuff. Edward, Edward Armour Rowe. You're talking the Tuckle, Tucker Carlson's. You're talking, and again, I won't get in the list here, but there are some journalists out there who, who, and very few, that really do what you're talking about. And sadly, sadly, um, if you did a survey of folks in the media right now, uh, especially mainstream, you will get, you will get, if you talk to 10 of them, you will get, get 10 of them. 10 for 10 saying they're great journalists. They're, uh, they're independent minded. They do their research. They, uh, don't copy paste. Uh, they don't rubber stamp. They don't stick up stories that are just haven't even been corroborated. So 10 out of 10 will say that Val. And, um, maybe one, but if you're really lucky too, but maybe one is that person. You know, so uh, it's just like I joked. I really, I joked down here. I'm, boy, you're going to get me going here today. Um, everyone down here talks about right wing media, right, right wing media, and up there too. We got right wing, right wing, and I, just, I always say I published in my, this in my book. So that means Democrats and the media, the mainstream media, who calls us right wing. That means you're left wing, right, left wing. And every one of them, especially my Democrats down here, no, we're not left wing. We're right down the middle, Val. We're centrists. We see both sides. We're not biased. We're the way (laughs) humanity should be. We're right down the middle. And I say, what a bunch of garbage. You're not down the middle. Not down the middle if you... you, (laughs) You make up statistics about global warming, but China and India are never going to participate. And then you ch- then you charge us carbon tax. OK, that's not down the middle. That's left wing. That's left wing. That's 60s campuses left wing. You know, so, boy, I didn't think I was going to talk about this stuff, but I'm glad you you, you uh, um, brought up this conversation because it's so important. It is so important. It's so important. But what's going to happen? You know me, glass is half full, right, Val? Glass is half full. I think there's a movement back. I think there's a wave uh, and just a wave of, a, you know, you don't call it even conservatism. You call it 1950s handshake world common sense. I think there's a wave back because of all the craziness we've seen in the last two, three years. And in the case of Canada, more than two, three years. Um, so God, did I promise I wasn't going to talk politics today, Val? But anyhow, it's because there are truly amazing journalists out there. And, um, again, not as many as you think, but I will say Tucker Carlson's one of them. I really admired him. Um, but there's a wave of journalism that that they're not going to put up with this bullshit, Val. They're not going to put up with it. They're just not going to put up with it. And the difference now, or as Albertans would say, the difference. (laughs) Uh, The difference right now is because of the internet and because of podcasts uh, and because of radio shows. uh, You just can't silence us anymore. So you're not going to silence Tucker Carlson. You're not going to silence Joe Rogan. Uh, those two guys have, I'll bet you they have more subscribers than, than all of Canada combined. Do the, I'd love the math on that as far as the media. And they're not going to put up with this BS. Just tell the truth. We're all grown ups. Give us the facts. 
You know, you don't have to bury a Hunter Biden laptop uh, a week or two before a, 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 a national election. You don't have to do that. Just tell us what it was. We're grownups. So, um, goodness, where, <laughs> where do you go from here? But back back to you on that. I, I really did. I, I thank you for bringing up credibility in journalism. And the good news is we're not going to be silenced, Val. And the good news is you are up there. You are the advocate, ad, uh, investigator. You're the Alberta person. You're the medicine hat person. You're the person who cares. And the one thing about you, you're going to tell the truth. And so... Uh, if anything, feather in your cap for that, that we ain't lost. Good journalism is not lost, but we're going to hear more and more and more as this wave continues and into 